Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me again for another mukbang. I've been eating a lot of good stuff and that's why today I'm gonna be eating Panda Express. I am so excited for this and I wanna show you what everything that I got. So just take a look at that. God. So this is fried rice, teriyaki chicken, which actually came as a big piece. And once I asked for it, they cut it into little pieces. I thought that was really cool. And orange chicken, which is uh, one of the classics of American Chinese food. And then I have some crab rangoons here that I'm gonna eat and show everybody as well. And can't forget the fortune cookie. They got me a fork, but I'm gonna dig in with some chopsticks. And then I can't eat without some soy sauce. I like to put soy sauce on my fried rice and then some hydration right here. Um, so just a little bit about Panda Express. I did not go to Panda Express growing up. So I come from a Chinese family. So both of my parents are from China, but I was born in the US. So a lot of the times we would go to like sit down Chinese restaurants. And I've always seen people like going to Panda Express. I never really understood it because it's like fast Chinese food. But when I tried it for the first time, I actually really liked it. It's not that bad at all. It's pretty much just like buffet style. You go in and choose what you want. And honestly, the quality of this isn't that bad. Compared to Chinese restaurants, there are some better than others and some don't even come to this level of uh, quality in the meat and the in the rice and how they cook it and everything. So I think it really depends and yeah. I mean, Panda Express definitely surprised me when I first tried it. But a lot of people say too, like, don't you prefer authentic Chinese food over, you know, like fake Chinese food? I don't think this is that bad. And I just refer it as, like, I just think of it as American Chinese food and it's like its own little category and I like it too. Like think about Chipotle versus like Mexican food. I still really like Chipotle. I'm not exactly sure what like native Mexican people think about Chipotle, uh, if they just absolutely hate it, but I like both authentic Mexican because I've been um, to some places that serve authentic Mexican um, and also Chipotle. So I, I mean, I like both. I think I'm just gonna dig in. I'm extremely hungry. I just came back from the gym today and on my way back, I was like, oh, I'm so hungry. Let's do a mukbang and here we are. So this is the teriyaki chicken. Mm. Teriyaki chicken is actually pretty good. See, that's what I'm saying. Like the quality of this meat surprised me. Because it's just so tender and the flavors are there. It tastes really good. Mm. I will put some Kim Lin soy sauce. I like the Kiko Man one too, but I just had this one at home. Now the secret to pouring soy sauce is not to pour too much. You do like little drips like this. So you don't get too much in one area and then you can mix it. It'll be fine. I actually wish I had duck sauce for these crab rangoons and they actually made these fresh like right when I was ordering them they only had two left and the guy told me to wait he got me two new ones this looks fantastic mm. it's really good it's actually I mean it's not the best crab rangoon that I have I'll actually if you guys want to see crab rangoon I'll bring one onto this, on, on, onto one of these mukbangs. I don't know exactly where to go. Mm. This is pretty good. The orange chicken, which I think is probably one of their most popular items, is good too. Like the thing, the thing that I like about Panda Express. Did I say Panda Express at the start of the video or PF Chang's? 
I've only been to PF Chang's like twice, so I could do one of that too, but that's more like sit down. That's like sit down American Chinese food as opposed to sit down Chinese Chinese food. And then there's homemade Chinese food, which I'm gonna feature a lot on this channel as well. Because like I said, both of my parents from China, they cook amazing meals. It's It's ridiculous, dumplings, rice noodles like they they come from a specific region in china so it's very very particular what kind of foods they have but i'm definitely going to be featuring some of the good stuff they have too mm. it's funny a lot of people don't know how to eat rice with chopsticks in asian cultures you usually use a little bowl like this and everyone shares like main dishes in the middle and you pick it, pick it up into your bowl of rice and, and you eat it like that. Today, I'm, I'm just doing it like this because that's how I prefer to eat it. Sometimes, honestly, I get lazy and I'll just use a fork too. There's no shame in that. Mm. I'm definitely surprised by the quality of the chicken. It's really tender. And it, and it tastes fresh. You can taste it. So I think for my next episode, I'm going to get a Five Guys Burger. If you guys haven't seen my Shake Shack video yet, I'm going to link it up here. Um, Honestly, the Shake Shack was really good. Looking back at my video and after uploading it, I did want to relay that message. Because at the end of the video, I rated each of the things that I got. I got... A bacon burger. I think it was like the Smoke Shack bacon burger. Um, I got the Na the Hot Ones. I keep saying Nashville for some reason. I got the Hot Ones chicken sandwich. And I got the Hot Ones cheese fries. And of course the milkshake. The milkshake will always be number one. And then it goes the... It goes the burger, cheese fries, and chicken sandwich. It was just personal preference. But next one I'm gonna do will be Five Guys. I'm gonna show everybody how I ordered my Five Guys burger. I actually haven't done it in a while, so I'm gonna have to look at all of the stuff that they have on the menu. But I'm most likely gonna try like one of their burgers, obviously the Cajun fries and Mmm, a hot dog. I think they have hot dogs. I'm not going to get a shake there because, or maybe I will. I didn't think, I, I don't know. That's still up in the air. I don't know if I want to get a shake from there because I've already had it and they don't have any special flavors. Like the Shake Shack apple cider donut shake is the best shake I've ever had. I recommend you guys find the closest Shake Shack and go get yourself a shake from, from Shake Shack. Mm. I'm so hungry. That's why I'm just wolfing this down right now. Let me know in the comments below 
what your favorite what your favorite Chinese food dish is. Whenever you go to a restaurant, what is it? Is it beef and broccoli, General Gao's chicken, orange chicken, sesame chicken? Those are all like really similar. Um, Kung Pao chicken. Let me know what it is. Fried rice, lo mein. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. For me, for me, it would have to be beef chow fun. And now, if none of you know what that is, I'll be happy to do a mukbang and show you exactly what it is and how to order it. It's really good. Now, if you guys like this type of video, please drop a like. It lets me know that you like this versus, for example, ASMR. I think I am going to start posting more ASMR content. If you guys haven't seen my ASMR video yet, I'll link it right here. Um, I had ramen. It was really good. And it was probably the hardest time. I said this in my last video too, but this it was the hardest time I had like eating at such a fast pace. Like I literally took down three packs of ramen in under 10 minutes. It was crazy. And three eggs. I don't get it. A lot of people on YouTube, they can eat a lot. For me, I can eat a lot and I can eat fast too. But then I can't talk to you guys, you know? I like getting a word in, in between here and there. But I feel like a lot of mukbangers that like to do ASMR, they just go at it nonstop. And that's what I was trying to do. And I did it. It was hard. Mm. I was actually curious if <clears throat> I was actually curious if the founders of Panda Express were Asian or not. And they are. It's this couple that have this idea. It's a great idea. They just like set the standard. They have their recipes. It doesn't really matter who makes them, you know. But these are good. Mm. Yeah, at this point, my hands are like cramping up. Rather just use a fork. It's easier. Now, I'm not saying. Panda Express is the best Chinese food, but I am saying it does the job. And at times, that's all you need for it to just do the job. It was quick. I literally picked it up in like five minutes on my way home. I will say though, and let me know if anybody else realizes this. If you go to a Chinese restaurant, 
the food comes out, no matter what you order, the food will come out in under 15 minutes. Please, let me know if you've noticed that. I was so hungry. Get some of this sweet orange chicken sauce. For rice, I'll literally eat till the last grain. I know a lot of people might look at me funny and have looked at me funny. Unless I'm like completely full, but this was like a good portion size for me. I know that's ridiculous, but it is what it is. Love me or hate me. And then lastly, a little fortune cookie action. Mm. I will say. The fortune cookies from Panda Express, not as good. Not as good as ones that you get from actual Chinese restaurants. But fortune cookies in general are American anyway, so. You don't see anyone in Asia opening fortune cookies. Actually, maybe you do nowadays, but... It was invented here, I think. There is excitement to be found wherever you go. Mm, that hits home. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm actually going to do a quick tattoo reveal because it was in my last video where it was wrapped. But today, it's going to start peeling soon. And so that's what it looks like. It's um, a statue of Poseidon. I've, I was actually really into Greek mythology. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for joining me today on another episode of A Mukbang with Alvin. I hope all of you enjoy your meals today, and I will catch you for my next episode. Bye.